Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today for yet another installment in Leftists Don't Seem to Know What Particular Words Mean. So, got this article from Outkick dated April 17th from Bobby Burak. It says, anti-dog, anti-American flag ESPN guy says it's not ridiculous to call white MVP voters racist. <sighs> okay, let's get into it. it. says, Dominique Foxworth, I remember him, was a meteor corner, mediocre cornerback in the NFL. He's now an analyst on ESPN, where his mission is to get Twitter to like him for his incendiary remarks about white athletes. In 2020, Foxworth announced he openly roots for Josh Allen to fail because the Bills quarterback's fans, and we quote, support dogs and the American flag. That's a really, those are really stupid reasons to want someone to fail. I mean, really? Because of that? Those are like two of the most milk toast things there are. I hate to break it to you, Mr. Foxworth, but... If that's the reason that you don't like Josh Allen, maybe he's not the problem in this equation, sir. Anyway, let's continue. Foxworth suggests that people who like Allen are mostly white, and thus, not his cup of tea. No, he's a quarterback for a very high-profile football team that, I'm guessing, because I haven't followed the NFL in years, that people seem to like. And I would guess that those people come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, too. So, this dude just basically said, this is Foxworth, this must be him down here, that where my arrow's pointing, he seemingly doesn't like Josh Allen because of his skin color. Mr. Foxworth, there's a word for that, you know. I'll let you try to figure it out. Last week, Foxworth returned to the headlines. He joined three-time failed talk show host Bomani Jones, who is pretty much the living definition of a train wreck. If you go look up train wreck in a dictionary, there's probably a picture of Bomani Jones right next to it. So he uh, failed, uh, let's see, where was I? He joined three-time failed talk show host Bumani Jones to record a podcast thinking Kendrick Perkins, who's had his own share of issues, which actually come up in the next sentence. They appreciated Perkins pressuring voters into considering race when voting for MVP. Yes, because clearly that is the most important thing when voting for your NBA MVP is what color the person is. Not, you know, did they help their team out? Not did they lead their team to a championship? Not did they have, like, an all-time awesome season? No, 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 no. That, that shouldn't matter, okay? Or it should, like, be a side thing compared to what the person looks like. You know, the thing that really doesn't have anything to do with their ability to do the job. Anyway, it says, Foxworth stated it is not ridiculous, yes it is, to accuse MVP voters of racism, the point of Perkins' hypothesis in April. Well, you're both idiots. Glad to see ESPN's uh, bringing down the collective IQ of their network, which wasn't high to begin with, with, with these two guys. Says he took issue with anyone who criticized Perkins' race bait, calling the backlash disproportionate. Why? Because I know what Kendrick Perkins says, too. Does there a link here to what he said? I, I vaguely remember it, but it was also pretty racist. I think, actually, then we get down to it here. That's right. Yeah, it's actually coming up. And so here's another ESPN stooge promulgating the idea that NBA voters are racist ghouls holding black players down. Except, of course, accusing said voters of racism is ridiculous. And this is Kendrick Perkins' thing, is that he brought up and said that because, I guess, who is it? Uh, where's the guy's name? Is it Luka Doncic? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, one, the last NBA MVP, MVP or the or the last two, and he who happens to be white, I should say, and as you can see here, it says just five of the past 33 MVP, MVP winners are white. But because people, I guess, were considering voting for the same dude, Luka Doncic, for MP, MVP again, that he was saying that those guys are racist. So never mind the fact that 28 of the past 33 MVP winners, what does that come out to? Uh, like 85 to 90 percent somewhere in there are, are black. Like the other people who are voting for the white guy happen to be racist. You know, maybe... I don't know. Here's just a, something to throw out there. Here's an idea just to keep in mind, you morons. Maybe he had the best season out of all of them. I don't know. Maybe that played into the factor of whether that guy was the MVP or not. Anyway, um, so it says, okay, so we just covered that just five of the past 33 MVP winners are white. The rest are black. Only 15% are of the color. Foxworth, Perkins, and Bomani say benefit the pr from privilege and MVP voting. And as Charles Barkley said when asked about the topic, if only five white guys have won the MVP in the last 30 years, claims of racism make zero sense. His argument, zero sense. And Sir Chuck is definitely right. Chuck's cool. Revealing it is... Revealing it is to hear Foxworth and Perkins say the number of white winners ought to be a topic of conversation. Why? Who gives a shit? Who? Who? Tell me. Who gives a shit? Okay. If all of them were white, who gives a shit? If, if none of them were white, who gives a shit? Who cares? It's a literal non-thing. Who cares? <laughs> and Perkins says it's past time to discuss. No, it, it's 
you're, it's past time to not discuss it. Let's just not bring it up, it, okay? The only reason racism keeps happening is because people like you, leftists, that is, keep wanting to bring it up. And if you're hyper-focused on race, once again, I'll say it, there's a word for that that people are called. Okay, I'll let you figure that one out. It says white players are the minority in the NBA. Eh, that's fine. And they hardly ever win the award. Yet two ESPN employees claim the volume in which white players win concerns them. That doesn't sound very inclusive of them. Of course it isn't because it's ESPN and they're run by a bunch of raging leftists that see the world in a bubble. Anyway, the section here says ESPN culture. So still Foxworth and Perkins are less to blame for the commentary than their bosses. ESPN executives have created a safe space for employees to declare white people racist sans an ounce of evidence. At most networks, executives and producers would require a personality to cite proof before shouting racism. Of course, other networks would quash any assertion like Perkins uh, that runs counter to the evidence that exists. Actually, I'm going to take a step back. At most networks, yeah, it says most networks. Okay, so I was going to say, well, I thought of a number of networks off the top of my head where that just level criticisms of racism without any evidence. Hi, CNN and MSNBC. Uh, you know, but whatever. <laughs> Let's keep going. Say, but not at ESPN. It says there, Perkins received no backlash for his recklessness. In fact, ESPN inserted him as a guest on his flagship PTI program days later in a show of support. All right, so this dude's going to go out there, be openly racist, and we're going to reward your shit behavior. Glad to see that people get to fail upwards. So ESPN sent the message that Perkins' behavior is acceptable. Yes, they did. Even rewarded. Thereby equally anti-white imbecile Dominic Foxworth sought to relight the same flame over a month later. What's more, Foxworth made his accusation at a time in which I'd say uh, Joel Embiid will most certainly win the award. Okay, that's fine. Hasn't he won MVP as well uh, recently? I don't know. Again, I don't follow really fo or really follow the NBA and haven't in like a decade, so I, I don't know. Um... Another black MVP winner would throw further water on the hypothesis that voters have a racial bias against black hoopers. Howard don't expect such facts to stop Foxworth from pushing similar narratives, and Dominic Fox Foxworth might not like dogs, which is enough for me to dislike the guy right off the bat, but then you add in the American flag, that's more, and it says, or white athletes, I, just why? I mean, that means you're a racist. So you're a racist, anti-dog, anti-American. Huh. You know, there are other countries out there. There's over 200 of them that you could choose from to go live in. Why don't you go live in one of those and see how it is and then, you know, come back here and tell us how it went. You know, maybe at that point you can go, oh, wait, this actually is the best country on Earth. Anyway, it says, but he adores inflammatory, baseless discussions about racism. It's a strategy of his entire media career. And that just seems like it's a thing throughout leftist media these days is got to bring up things that have nothing to do with the sport to try to turn them into a story when in this case it's literally not a story you know considering just five of the past 33 mvp voters or winners are white okay and again who cares okay if they were all white wonderful if none of them were or if none of them were uh or if none of them were white wonderful don't care i legitimately don't care it's who's the best person for it that's it. Okay. Just because the league is predominantly black, and that's totally fine. Totally fine. Doesn't mean a black person has to win it every single time. Okay. If you were to find a primarily white sport and a black person win it, are you going to see, or wins their MVP, are you going to see white people come out and be like, what the hell? Or are they going to be like, no, that was actually the best person to win the job? Probably that. Okay. So Dominic Foxworth, Kendrick Perkins... You guys can uh, sit and spin as far as I'm concerned. You're both a bunch of racist ESPN. You should get rid of these guys. They're not worth the money. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.